One group gets popcorn, the other doesn't. But this isn't an ordinary night out at the cinema. It's a scientific study. The question under investigation is whether chewing can have an effect on memory retention. Zasha Topolinsky, a psychologist at the University of Cologne, says it can. His theory, eating popcorn makes it less likely you'll remember the advertisements. That's because we're more likely to retain the names of new products when our mouths aren't otherwise occupied. Here in the cinema, we give our research subjects popcorn. That way, they won't unconsciously repeat the names of the products. After one week, we see how much the test subjects who had popcorn remember about the advertising. A sensor on the skin shows whether the test subject recognizes the name of the product. The result? The popcorn eaters show very little response to the advertised products. But the group that wasn't munching through the ads demonstrates a strong response. The study shows that when you keep your mouth busy eating popcorn, you'll have a very poor memory for brand names. So your body plays an important role in this particular process. When it comes to remembering names, it's your mouth that makes all the difference. The findings are confirmed when the test subjects go shopping. Only the people who weren't distracted by popcorn show any interest in the advertised products. Here we see an effect on shopping behavior. We see an advertising effect on the test subjects who didn't eat the popcorn, who are more likely to buy the product. That's not the case for the popcorn eaters. The body has its own memory for experiences and impressions. Topolinsky believes the body is the basis of understanding and memory in art as well as advertising. The brain processes the input it receives by recreating it. But when the body is also involved, he says, emotional response can be strengthened. In one study, we had our test subjects look at a painting and encourage them to make hand movements while doing it. When that hand movement mirrored the motion the artist made while painting, the test subjects liked a painting more than they would have otherwise. It's a new approach to psychology, the idea of embodiment. Topolinsky looks at how abstract messages are communicated and comprehended through movements of the body, during conversations, for example. The popcorn test is just one piece of evidence. This experiment and many others show that the body plays a very important role in the formation of memories and in how we perceive and understand experiences. But Topolinsky says the advertising industry still hasn't shown much interest in his research. Based on his findings, the ad industry might want to try to ban popcorn in the cinema entirely. But a movie without munchies would prove a pretty unpopular step.